following developing news tonight in Lancaster, where pop star Aaron Carter has died at the age of 34. Yeah, the troubled performer grew up in the limelight, but he was in and out of rehab several times in his short life. Chris. On November 5th, 2022, former team icon Aaron Carter passed away. After his passing, I was approached by many to do a video on him. However, during that time, I couldn't. The timing wouldn't be right. I felt like it would be disrespect if I immediately did a video on Aaron Carter right after his passing. Another reason why I didn't do an Aaron Carter video then was because the cause of death was and still is being investigated. I wanted to wait and found out how he really died. Anyway, now it's six months later and I feel like the time is right to remember his life and legacy. So without further ado, this is the tragedy of Aaron Carter. May he rest in peace. Before we begin, if you want to see music bios or more good videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, on to our feature presentation. Aaron Charles Carter was born on December 7th, 1987 in Tampa. He was born with a twin sister named Angel. His other siblings included two older sisters, Leslie Carter and Bobby Jean, and an older brother named Nick. His parents, Robert and Jane Carter, both worked at the Garden Villa Retirement Home and the family stayed there. But growing up was not easy for the Carters. His parents often had domestic disputes that sometimes grew violent. Things changed for the family when Nick turned down a $50,000 offer to join the Mickey Mouse Club, instead joining a new group called the Backstreet Boys. Backstreet would later become one of the biggest boy bands of all time. At an early age, Aaron wanted to do music as well. While attending a rock school, he formed a group called Dead End. The group would perform rock and alternative music, something Aaron didn't want, so at the age of nine, he left Dead End to pursue a pop career. He caught his big break when he opened a Backstreet concert and performed the Jet classic, Crush On You. Lou Pearlman, who was managing Backstreet, liked what he saw and signed him to Transcon as a solo artist. In November 1997, at the age of nine, he released his self-titled debut album overseas. The self-titled debut would eventually be released in America independently the next year. The lead single, Crush On You, reached the top 10 in various countries. On the album, Brian and Nick got songwriting credits on the song Ain't That Cute. The self-titled release will be certified gold in Norway, Germany, Spain, Denmark, and Canada. In 2000, at the age of 12, Aaron released his follow-up album worldwide called Aaron's Party, Come Get It. The lead single of the same name tells the story on how he was able to throw a party with his parents away. Things go well until his parents arrive home early, thus leading to his inevitable grounding. The song will be his only major pop hit in America, peaking at number 35 on the Billboard Hot 100. His next single was a tall tale called That's How I Beat Shaq. The song is self-explanatory, but in the end of the song, it was all a dream, or was it? The song serves as an Aaron Carter classic. Thanks to Aaron Carter's young fan base, Aaron's party went three times platinum. The next year, he guest starred on the Disney Channel show Lizzie McGuire, where he gave the main character her first kiss. In 2001, Aaron Carter released his third album called Oh Aaron. The album saw more involvement from his older brother Nick as he appeared on the titular song and Not Too Young and Not Too Old. Other songs included Leave It Up To Me, which was featured in the Jimmy Neutron soundtrack, and I'm All About You as O Aaron went platinum. In 2002, Another Earthquake, Aaron's fourth album, was released. It featured the song Summertime, and that song was featured on the Even Stevens movie. But compared to his previous two albums, it was not a commercial success, but that would be the least of his problems. That same year, Aaron's parents sued Lou Pearlman as they alleged that Lou refused to pay Aaron's royalties from his first album. Pearlman was declared contempt of court because he ignored a court order to produce documents related to the royalties, but the suit itself was settled out of court and Aaron was paid. In 2004, Robert and Jane's tumultuous relationship ended in a divorce. Aaron got the news just hours before filming for the MTV Cribs displaying his multi-million dollar compound. In 2005, Aaron Carter starred in the direct-to-video film Popstar. Aaron was able to relate to the film as he was living the story 
with being a celebrity and balancing school at the same time. The film also shines the light on test anxiety. That same year, he got involved in another movie called Supercross. Aaron also was able to relate to this movie as he liked to participate in motocross. In December 2005, Aaron Carter turned 18. By law, parents of child entertainers are supposed to put 50% of his earnings in a trust. According to Aaron, when he turned 18, he only received $2 million when he was supposed to receive $20 million. Carter also learned that he owed $4 million in tax liens, which was most of his money he earned during his teen days. He accused his parents of blowing his money on houses and cars, particularly the compound, and when they sold the assets, Aaron saw little to no money at all. Never told us when, but his dad fired a gun next to Aaron's ear to coerce him in signing a $256,000 check, and Aaron became partially deaf from the incident. That same year, Carter faced another lawsuit, this time with ChanceCon, citing that Carter reneged on a record deal he signed in 2004 to keep his music career going, but they ruled in favor of Carter because he had the right to cancel or void any agreement since he was a minor when he signed the new deal. In 2006, Aaron appeared on the reality TV show House of Carters. The show was supposed to document Nick's journey into sobriety as he struggled with alcoholism and recording new music with Backstreet, but all the siblings moved in to rekindle their relationship after the fallout of their parents' divorce. The show only ran one season as it did more harm than help the Carters' image. On the show's pilot, Nick and Aaron got into a physical brawl over Aaron playing loud music and this incident would later be mocked on SNL. In 2008, Aaron was arrested when he was pulled over for speeding and police found two ounces of marijuana in his car. After spending the past couple of years fading into obscurity, he was casted as a contestant for Dancing with the Stars and placed fifth. In 2011, Aaron entered rehab to deal with personal issues. Once freed, he starred in the off-Broadway production The Fantastics and played a character named Matt. In 2012, he participated on the Food Network reality show Rachel vs. Guy Celebrity Cook-Off but was the first to be eliminated. But then, a tragedy changed his life forever. On January 31, 2012, his older sister Leslie Carter died of an overdose. According to Aaron, just before she died, he saved just enough money to send her to rehab. Instead, he spent some of his final dollars to take a bus to New York, where her funeral was held. But at the funeral, there was one notable absentee, and that was his brother Nick. Nick refused to attend as the family started to blame him for his sister's death. So instead, he did a solo show on the date of the funeral. Aaron's relationship with Nick would never be the same after this. In 2013, Aaron's financial woes caught up to him and he filed for bankruptcy to shed more than $3.5 million in debt. To help his financial troubles, he went on tour for the first time in eight years and that funded him for now. In 2014, Aaron Carter cleared all of his debt. Touring gave him a new motivation on creating music. In 2015, he released his first EP called The Music Never Stops. In 2017, he released another EP called Love. The next year, he released his first studio album in 15 years, also called Love. But Aaron's controversies continued to follow. In 2017, he was arrested on DUI and marijuana charges. He was sentenced to probation, community service, and was ordered to pay $1,500 in court fees. Then, Aaron had another tragedy when his father passed away. Later that year, he appeared on the show Doctors to discuss his drug abuse and other medical problems he may have. The show revealed that he did not have any STDs nor cancer, but suffered from a weakened immune system. He also tested negative for the hard drugs like meth and cocaine, but tested positive for a mixture of benzos and opiates which Aaron took for anxiety and sleep. Aaron also was suffering from a malnourishment as he only weighed in at 110 pounds. In another appearance he made in 2019, he revealed that he suffered from schizophrenia and bipolar disease. He entered rehab once more and once out he reweighed in at 160 pounds. Around the same time he came out as bisexual. In 2019, he and his estranged mother Jane appeared on marriage boot camp to repair their relationship. During the show, Aaron reveals that he blames himself for the demise of his sister and father. Long story short, he was able to reconcile with his mother. But that same year, his mental state would take a turn for the worst. In May 2019, he appeared on the Lance Bass documentary called The Boy Band Con, which talked about his former manager Lou Pearlman. While everyone spoke out against Lou, Aaron was in denial. That same year, he
he made claims that his older sister Leslie Carter violated him when they were younger. Aaron stated all this occurred when Leslie forgot to take her medication as she was bipolar. Aaron will also make threatening comments involving his twin sister and Nick's pregnant girlfriend, and a restraining order will be the result of this. By the time 2020 came, Aaron was clinging on to fame. He set up an OnlyFans account, but most criticized his account for inflated prices and content not being up to their standards. In 2021, Aaron Carter, weighing in at 160 pounds, called out Lamar Odom, weighing in at 230 pounds, in an exhibition boxing match. Aaron was knocked out in the second. That same year, he was supposed to appear on Las Vegas production on Naked Boy Singing, but was let go because he refused to get the COVID-19 vaccine. But in 2021, he and his new girlfriend, Melanie Martin, gave birth to a son named Prince. In 2022, Aaron started to work on a new album, and it was also stated that he was ready to reconcile to those he done wrong by, which included his brother, Nick Carter. But on November 5th, 2022, Aaron's body was found in his bathtub at the age of 34. The first person who was notified about Aaron's death was his mother, Aaron left behind no will which mean his son Prince would be first in line, but it was said that it wouldn't be much because Aaron wasn't financially stable, according to close acquaintances. On November 9th, Aaron's body was cremated and his ashes was given to his sister, Angel. Now what caused Aaron Carter's death? No clear answer was given, but according to the family, they said he didn't drown in the bathtub because his lungs contained no water. They believed what everyone else did, that he died from a drug overdose. Police also found contents of compressed air near Aaron's bed. While we never got a clear answer on Aaron's death, we could only speculate. After Aaron's death, his team immediately released his final album Blacklisted, but was later pulled from streaming due to an unauthorized release. The day after his death, Nick Carter, with a heavy heart, performed in London with Backstreet on their tour. In January 2023, with the help of Lance Bass, AJ McLean, O-Town, among others, a benefit concert was held in Aaron's memory, with majority of the proceeds going to On Our Sleeves, and that organization focused on mental health. To close, Aaron is no longer in pain or suffering and will be missed. Tell me what y'all think in the comments below. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Once again, may Aaron Carter rest in peace, and I'll see you next time.